What's up guys, what here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we're going to talk about a huge topic, this is going to be really huge the, probably the next skill team, yes probably the next skill team, the one you are seeing in the screen next patch we have big changes coming for uh, Kingpin and for Taskmaster and uh, those changes are going to revolutionize the experience for new players I also think that they are going to add a lot of viability for the skill rates on Doom 3 for veteran players because right now the skill nodes are probably some of the worst because of how much RNG it has but we are going to talk about all of that in this video so as always if you like the information on this video make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button okay so let's get started as I mentioned next patch we are going to have huge changes to Kingpin and to Taskmaster and you see you can see right that here where it is okay so in this line Kingpin, Nobu, Green Goblin and Taskmaster all of them are going to get reworked in order for them to work with Mr. Negative which is an upcoming character on the next patch this is going to be huge because both Taskmaster and Kingpin their stats are very very lackluster they have around 200,000 health which is nothing compared to the Secret Avengers which have 800,000 health so just on uh, on that uh, in stats alone that's going to be awesome of course we expect some changes to their kits so they have more synergies with mr negative but uh, they also have synergies with the secret avengers because the secret avengers they buff skill characters in raids so they are going to get additional 20 percent hp and they're also going to get offense up constantly from uh, sharon carter this is going to be awesome because it's going to get, give uh, more viability to, this, to these characters, not only in Alliance Wars Offense, which is the game mode they are going to be reworked for with Mr. Negative, but that also gives them some viability once again to the skill nodes. And uh, this is going to be huge because, as I mentioned before, right now, everyone is struggling with the skill nodes, at least from what I have heard. I am struggling with the skill nodes people from my alliance are struggling with the skill nodes and uh, people from other alliances are also struggling with the skill nodes and uh, one of the reasons on the first node it's the level of RNG if you get mind control on a Kestrel or a shang Shi, and one of them has slow or turn rewind from your Sharon Carter then uh, you are pretty much done and you have to reset the node because you cannot deal enough damage or you cannot uh, get your cooldowns back fast enough in order for you to clear the node and get ready for the second node which is another problem as well then you have the situation with the hellers in a situation like this where you have a heller you can use taskmaster ultimate or the special to blind the hellers or to stun them so that's going to really reduce the damage that uh, you have from Hellas and that's going to allow you pro to protect your team. Taskmaster is a master of uh, crowd control. These blinds that he applies to the enemies, the stun and the offense downs and the fact that he can steal positive effects from the enemies is just huge. So that's it just uh, in regards to the first node. Now in terms of the second node we have the same situation now not only we have the stun from Sharon Carter we also have the stun from Taskmaster so in case we were not able to recover the energy in one of those characters we'll have the other one as an option then you also have the blind which is going to be used to protect you from Deadpool and also to protect you from Carnage you can also be lucky and apply blind to Miles because the 
ultimate from Taskmaster is unavoidable. So that's going to be awesome. Okay, so you can see right here, Taskmaster is definitely going to be extremely important. Now, in terms of Kingpin, I'm not exactly sure. What Kingpin does for this team is that he applies the defense up for two turns and the offense up for one turn. And he also provides some additional assists. Now, the offense up is not a big deal because we have Sharon Carter, but the defense up is huge because Captain Sam, he towns for two turns but he only has defense up for one turn that means he's completely exposed to massive amount of damage whenever he's taunting on his second turn and uh, as you can see right here we have tons and tons of enemies with striker isolate and usually when you are taunting with uh, captain sam he gets destroyed exactly because of the lack of defense up and uh, all those striker isolates attacking him now, in terms of the new players, why these changes are going to be huge? It's because these characters are available early on. So on Nexus 7-9, you can get Kingpin and you can also get him from the Legacy Orbs, which you get quite often. And you also can get a Taskmaster early on, on a farmable node, surprise, surprise, on a Cosmic 2-6. This is going to be huge because the the new player experience is quite terrible because you don't have many good villains and these are going to be two awesome villains that right now they will have some viability on the late game so in case you want to invest in some villain characters you have taskmaster now and kingpin apart from nebula which was the mostly the only recommendation in in case of the villain characters now, these characters, they also have some viability in terms of uh, Alliance Wars and uh, Cosmic Crucible. Not only they are going to be reworked to be a powerhouse in Alliance Wars offense, and supposedly they are uh, going to counter the Hero as Guardians, but uh, the other way they are going to be useful is also on Cosmic Crucible. Kingpin is very, very strong on short matches because of his ultimate ability that gives defense up and offense up so in case you want to give offense up to everyone and do some big burst damage to the enemies kingpin is going to be awesome and the taskmaster from the same reasons we mentioned before his ultimate is unavoidable so this is going to be extremely important in case you are trying to face some dodgy characters he applies bleeds, he applies blinds, so you could even use him together with uh, unlimited X, uh, with uh, Weapon X on um, Cosmic Crucible once again, in case you want to blind some specific character that you know it's going to be problematic for uh, the Weapon X. Then uh, we also have his turn, as I mentioned before, it's a turn 2 ability, which is the only problem with this ability, but the fact that it applies stun and then it rebound chains offense down is very very strong. So yeah, these two changes are going to be huge for everyone in game, whether you are a veteran player or a new player, these two characters alone are going to change a lot of game modes. Once again, it's going to change the new player experience, it's going to change and give options to veteran players who are doing the Doom 3 raids right now and struggling because Shang-Chi and Kestrel alone are not cutting it then they are going to increase the viability of different teams and their own teams in alliance wars if you don't want to invest on mr negative or green goblin or whatever you can still use them independently in other teams we'll talk about that in the future and finally as i mentioned in cosmic crucible they are very very strong plug and play characters that you can use in whichever team for example kingpin i forgot to mention you can also use with weapon x and make uh, Omega Red have offense up whenever he does his ultimate because Kingpin is kind of slow so that's going to match perfectly the rotation of the characters. So yeah guys that's going to be the video I hope you guys enjoyed. Taskmaster was always a very underrated character. It was one of my first videos on this channel. It was telling people to pay attention to Taskmaster. Very very underrated and uh, probably this will be the moment where this guy will shine and become top of the meta. As always, if you found information on this video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I will catch you guys later.